take us through the mindset after after that one, knowing what lies ahead and how important Game Five is, and how much of a missed opportunity this was. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, um, I'm already excited for Friday. How fun is that going to be? Um, yeah, he's you know missed opportunity, a chance to close it out, didn't. Um, move on, play Game Five. Winner take, winner take it. What did you think of Cease tonight, and what went into the decision to lift him when you did after Otani? Um, I thought the stuff was coming out really good. You know, he's throwing 100. Slaughter was good. Um, they just put good swings on him, you know. And once Otani got through, he's at 38 pitches. You know, he's got one out in the second. Just felt like the appropriate time. We had some guys that we trust in our bullpen, and that, um, that was the equation. Did you think his stuff was like normal was it wasn't unaffected by the the short rest and it just I don't used. I mean everything we've measured by I mean those are some pretty good hitters you know they put some good swings on him they had good at bats with him you know the other other start he had I mean the guy's throwing a hundred AJ <laughs> you know you tell me I can start a guy throwing a hundred with a good slider I'm gonna take that guy every time you know they put some swings on him Mookie got a ball three two they got out of the ballpark and that was about as simple as that and all the measurables that, you know, we get in and as far as, like, the life on the ball, graded out A-plus. Jeff. Uh, uh, bats today, the uh, bullpen game, how do you think that, you know, how do you think you guys responded to that? Well, we, I mean, 0 for 9 when we're in scoring position, I, mean, I don't, you know, clearly they did a nice job. So we didn't um, get the proverbial big hit and string anything really together. So, um, you know, they got the lead and they were able to hold it. You guys hit off relievers all season. It's been an, an issue in the postseason. It's postseason bullpens. It's a different animal. Um, what, what's the fix for Friday, knowing that you could face a bunch of relievers again on Friday? Um, yeah, I mean, you're going to see better bullpens, clearly. Um, we got a really good bullpen. Um, their bullpen's been very good. We're familiar with them. Um, just a matter of continuing to take consistent at bats and, take, um, and being able to do something when we got some opportunities with people out there. You were up pretty quick to talk to the umpire after that Tatis brush back. What what were you looking to accomplish out there? Just to establish that, you know, the ball was up and near his head and didn't exactly appreciate it. Uh, we'll go to Dylan or AJ. Yeah. Uh, in the second inning there, uh, yeah. when Otani came up the second time, did you have any thoughts of pulling seats before that? No, not really. I liked, um, I still like the stuff. You know, it was like in, the, in that – you know, area where it's like he's throwing good, the ball's coming out good, they're getting swings. Um, and, you know, Mookie had already had a swing on him. Want to see where the Otani bat went, he found a hole. So, I mean, there's always a way to think, um, yeah, I could have done this, could have done that. But, no, I mean, I felt good about the, um, you know, plus we got a righty going with Hoeing, who's more of a ground ball guy. We like to have a lefty if we're going to go with Otani. We had a guy who was throwing 100 and he put a, you know, swing on him. You know, I know Dave might come in in a few minutes and announce a starter for Game Five, but given how well you guys have hit their starters, and given how well their bullpen pitched today, do you kind of are you kind of bracing for another bullpen game in Game Five? I don't. You know, whatever they throw, we'll be ready for. <laughs> We're excited. We'll throw you Darvish and feel good about it. AJ, and then we'll go to Chelsea. You kind of answered the question, but you're just to confirm Darvish for Friday, and how does the rest of your bullpen line up behind that? Given that you were able to rest some of your higher leverage guys tonight. Yeah, we're in great shape. I mean, you know, we. Took a shot with Morihone and, and Estrada. Um, both those guys will be available on Friday, and we'll have a full complement of our of our bullpen. Plus, a really good starter, Chelsea. I was just curious, how did Cease respond to kind of seeing you come out, and and any concerns about sort of his confidence levels after you know the first outing probably didn't go the way he wanted, and this one probably a little shorter than he'd like. Yeah, I'm um, not concerned about his confidence level. Dylan knows he's a really good pitcher and has been for a while, so that that part's not a, in the equation. Um, you know, listen, he, he was excited to take the ball, wanted the opportunity. Um, again, once it got to a certain point, swings were pretty good on him. He wasn't fooling anybody. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'm sure he was disappointed in the moment, but, you know, he understood it. Go to Barry in the front. And, hey Mike, how much is this just – you guys face each other so much during the course of the year. Everybody knows everybody's tendencies and, and Cease is at this point where he's just facing a team that just knows him so well. I think that's part of it. I don't think there's any question about that. You know, I think it's a fair point. Um, 
you know, uh, they know the tendencies of what he does, and, and they're looking for certain things, and, and uh, they, were, they were on point tonight with him. Yeah, the one guy you had this week who mixed it up was Darvish. Yes, that guy. Yeah. The guy going Friday. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> AJ. Speaking of that guy, um, can you just kind of, like, your confidence level in him as well as he's pitched since he's come back from, from the restricted list and, and what he's kind of meant to you guys in, in doing so over the last month? Oh, he's been fantastic. Confidence level, you know, he's got 203, you know, wins in his career. He's pitched a long time. He's pitched them in big stages. Clearly, we're going to have one on Friday. He's pitching international competition. He's pitched in that stadium, obviously, very well. And recently, um, you know, he's one of the better pitchers of, of this generation. So confidence is, that's why the confidence is high for me. Any last ones for Mike? All right, Mike, we'll see you tomorrow in Los right, Angeles. Appreciate it. Look forward to it. Be safe.